Hello, welcome guys and welcome back to more Kintama Rumble. Oh. Um, yeah. Again, I don't want. I don't think I want to uh, uh, waste any more time. I don't have any much intro to do. So, oh. let's do this. Game on. So last time we have we just play. We just have a battle, have a fight against uh, Jirocho Romizu for the first part of the of the arc. Kabukicho's for Devas Art and let's continue on, continue on the other story scenario Chains of Honor. No, I think uh, um, I watched the anime. I think the word is different. This one is it's the Chains of Honor for the I think the in the, the the website that I used to watch anime, the Gitama anime. It's more to the uh, warrior uses the word warrior. Something else, uh, I, I I can't remember which one. But anyway, let's do this. Jirochou ni kirareta otose wa biouin ni hakobi komareta ga ishiki ga modoranai. Otose o shinpai shite biouin ni ita yorozuya tachi no mai ni.最後が現れる。次郎町一家に手を出した。お父さんの店は。三勢力が打ち壊すと最後は告げた。その日までに歌舞伎町をさらなければ店と運命を共にすることになる。それを聞いた銀時はもうよろずやを畳むつもりだと
四天王と戦うために金時あんたの死に際なんて私は見たくないよ坊さんたまった家賃は必ず返すだから待ってろ。どこに行くつもりですか。お登世さんの旦那さんの形見なんて持って。なんでてめえらがここにいる。てめえが勝手にしろって言ったからに決まってるある。僕たちも連れてってください。一緒に戦います。勘違いすんな俺はババアに言われて形見取りに来ただけいい加減にするある金ちゃんもばあさんも間違ってるある一人で何もかも勝手にしょい込んで勝手に行っちゃってそれで救われたって何にも嬉しくないねんばあさんがいなくなったら助かったって何にも嬉しくないやる銀ちゃんがいなくなったら生きてたって何にも楽しくなんかないやる楽しくなんかなくったっていいだろうそれでも俺はてめえらに生きててほしいんだよもうごめんなんだよあんな思いすんのはもう誰一人死なせたくねえんだよ《あんたそれでも坂田銀時かよ》何度大切なものを取りこぼそうと何度守るものを失おうともう二度と何かを背負い込むことから逃げないそう旦那さんに誓ったんじゃないのかよ一旦守ると決めたものは絶対守り通すそれが坂田銀時じゃないのかよ音瀬さんはあれくらいじゃ死なない僕らは知らないあんたは知らないなぜならあんたが僕たちを守ってくれるからなぜなら僕らが絶対あんたを守るからそれがよろずやじゃないんですかそうやって僕ら3人今までいろんなものを守ってきたんじゃないんですか私たちはまだ何も失ってなんていませんだからその心までなくしてしまわないでください私たちはあなたを信じていますだから今度は私たちを信じなさいよ一緒に守りましょう乙瀬さんの私たちの居場所を私たちを引き合わせてくれたこの町を悪いな旦那あんたのために買ってきたんだがまた一個も残りそうにねえやその代わりもう一度約束するよあんたの大切なもんは俺たちが必ず守るありがとうよ旦那こんなクソったれどもと合わせてくれて。リーが出直してもらえるかい<音声>その薄汚ねえ豚足で一歩たりともここに入るんじゃねえっつってんだ潰せるもんなら潰してみろ何人たりとも俺たちの町には入らせねえそうよねここで来なきゃあんたらじゃないわよねそ
侍の一党は一戦の言葉にも勝る物の,のふどもよ全ては血風の中で語り合おうぞ我らは落とせ一家仁義通させてもらいやす行くぜてめえは He got three. Wakata. Hehe, yatta. Yeah, come on, oh man. Yeah. Clear the stage within fifteen minutes. Ooh. If it, Okumori's, I go with Waking Rumble. Hmm. Received help from a Kabukito resident. Alright guys, let's do this. Let's do this. Sonja, Sento Kaisida. You know, I kind of wish that the way they do they do the、uh, cutscene, they do it a little bit different. They do it where Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm did. So the way they did is they use the visual, the design where you are seeing now the gameplay, but use it. They use it. For the、um, the cutscene, instead of using just a still image from the、um, anime. Minigun. Push, 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 push. Oops. Oops. Oh. Where's the thief? I don't see the thief. Yeah, I really like the minigun. Come here, come here. Yeah, the way they design the、uh, gameplay for the um for the working rumble, they uses they do use it, they uses the more serious theme, but for the uh, I call it, but for the. For the special attack, they use this. Yeah, it's more towards the、yeah, comedy. Odd jobs. That's a lot of them. Oh, it's too risky. Oops! Oh, man, I really like the mini gun bar barrage. Shin Sengumi. Oh yeah, now I noticed they haven't introduced the Shin Sengumi yet. <laughs> Receive help. Clear the stage within 15 minutes. Defeat Tokumori Saigo. Oh, 
よしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよし As the um, awakening rumble, and the the one that I just use now, that's a special skill. So, like I said, the, for the special skill they use, instead of uh, the the skill they they, they use is it's more towards the um, comedy theme, just for jokes, something like that. It's Shin Sengume. Jobs neighborhood is captured. Oh my god. I think I need to go to go back to head back to my home because it seems like they are attacking me. They are capturing my home, my house. Oh yeah, it's actually it was actually um Otose's house rather than Gintoki's. Before they took, took over my home, I better take it back first to claim what was mine. Now, if, if you guys watch the anime for this, I think I said I have said in the earlier videos that for this arc they have used the um, a very good uh, opening and ending. Now. For the opening, yeah, the, the the title is Dogen Kill Alien. And you know, if you watch it, if you watch the anime and you hear the the song, you can pretty much say that it's really fit Gintama. It's very Gintama esque. It really fits how Gintama um works, something like that. Yes, it's like it's like it's it's like the music is full of mischief, something like that. Because Gintama is like is uh, Gintama is is full of mischief. How the how the how the main character treat his the other characters and all of the jokes that they have just used. Yeah. So if you sound the the music, it, you can if it has his um greedy energy and also mischief. And I uh, oh, and I tell you, it's a it's a really great song. If this one, if you if you ask me about the uh, for the opening, or about a music that they put in Gintama that fits uh, Gin Gintama theme, I would I would, I would say I would choose uh, Shogun Kyo Alien. But if you if you go into for the um, general uh, the general. Then Spy Air would win that. Because 
Spike here really, uh, what do you call that? Yet really make Gintama great. I think their their songs. One of the song is in Gintama they have I think they have four songs. I th yeah yeah I mean you know actually they have a lot of of songs they they put in the Gintama. There is the opening, there's the ending, and also for the movie. I mean both of the movies. And another band that really that really built Gintama is um does. I'm go back home. の縁の一人ぼっち。そんなことないさ。お前は。決勝の達人。え、つか。小銭形さん。ハズさん。玄関様。長次郎さん。あ、でえ。I'll get him back before we talk before we get him back to the topic that I just talk about I want to talk about the um the character that just appeared so most of them are really a side side are really a minor side character that they uh, most of them like they appeared for a few episodes only now let's say like the firefighter the first the one who first appeared uh, she, she really appears in one episode at least there, there's, a, there's, a, there's one episode they really dedicated to her for her story but trust me Gintama really excels in making all making his character quality very very good and I'm talking about quality and uh, get it back and I'm talking about the quality again in Gitama even if you are a side character you people will just love the characters even if they appear like for one episode only because of how the oh my god because of how they how they made the story for them the lessons that we learn from that episode is really high value I would say a lot of this is a big place it's a big area oh man We were just talking about the side character, about the characters in Gintama. You know, a lot of anime. Even if you're, uh, let's say, a major, a major side character. So let's say, let's say, um, let's say One Piece. 
you know you know the the i was you know the team team is it team you know luffy's um band of luffy's crews ah uh, i would say that luffy's band of crew all of those characters sanji zoro those are i would say they are they are side characters but also but they are the major one because the main character is, is only one main character which is luffy yeah i think so but then the other the, his his friends or what do you call that his crew his band of crew sanji zoro nami chopper robin all of the all of the side characters i would say they are like the, the major side characters so you know in even in, in anime after they somehow somehow when they after they have introduced their characters even the major somehow they just get thrown to the sidelines so some it will say i would say that they, they have been ignored even they even when they are a, a major side character or if you want me to give a big big example a good example i was i would give uh, the attack on titan you know those three main characters are Eren, Armin and also Mikasa so <laughs> a lot of people roast them as being the uh, as uh, the you, they, are, they are not useless but I would say they don't make up the story they don't make the story Attack on Titan it's rather the side characters like Reiner, Sasha all of those people they, they, the one, they are the one who makes this, the story build up the story it's like saying that uh, the, those trio Eren, Eren, Mikasa and Armin they don't they don't have a big role in the in the series they're just there for for I don't know <laughs> people are saying that uh, I, I don't I don't really care about that but at the very least I, I'm not toxic I'm not a toxic uh, fan because after the uh, ending or after Intama after the final chapter for Attack on Titan after the ending for Gin and for the final chapter the, the fandom has been has become very toxic because because the ending uh, aren't what they expected and they hate the ending so it's like the end what they expected didn't came to didn't came to be and that's why they really hate they can't they hate the the story the ending in particular no i don't think i don't i won't say that i hate the story i, I think it's good if anything i would say that it was rushed now um what do you call that you know the the f the fandom for Attack on Titan, I was, I I see they have become very toxic because they I hate that they threaten, they gave they they threat to to Hajime Sayama the author of oh, Shin uh, Attack on Titan. They 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 send death threat, so they threaten. Hajime Sayama to I don't know to re to to redraw back his the ending, but you know it's Hajime Sayama's story. It's his idea. So we just fans. We should have we should just support him rather than telling him to do what we want as fans. Uh, if that happen, uh, if that happen, I would say that what's the point of being a story? What's the point of being the author if you can't even uh, what do you call that? Present your idea. That was his idea. Let him do what he wants. So to me, as long it is uh, within my morality, you know, I'm a Muslim, so obviously if there's something that isn't supposed to be like uh, in, the, in the in the how it's not in the view of Muslim, I won't I won't like it. Or obviously, like obviously the one the there are something that I hate in it. Uh, in uh, Attack on Titan that I heard that uh, Kista is pregnant and she's pregnant with 
some which she is she's pregnant but she's not married so what do you call that child out of wedlock so if it's basically me a busted child if you want me to uh, translate in Malay uh, anak haram uh, I will say that so Krista's pregnant anak haram <laughs> and obviously this isn't accepted for Islam or at the very least uh, it wasn't accepted because they have sex out of marriage sex before marriage and Islam don't do that we don't accept that we don't do that here <laughs> and that's the one thing that I don't support it you know if again I'm a Muslim so and we have we are very against uh, LGBT so uh, against uh, LGBT and let and you know uh, I'm a fan of Marvel but it's look it, uh, kind of seem like uh, Marvel is going uh, has been pushing its uh, LGBT agenda I won't say agenda but they've been intro introducing more 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 and more uh, characters of LGBT characters and other one that uh, the recently one is uh, Eternals I had it for my fan I didn't have not watched it yet but yeah there's this just the main character one of the cast the Eternals, one of the Eternals, the, uh, the one of the Eternal characters has they he uh, they introduce him as an LGBT character, and apparently I don't really agree with that. No, it's making it's making me not wanting to to watch more to watch uh, all of the um, story of all of the movie. Or the MCU movie. So not now. <laughs> we have been going off topic right now. So we were talking about uh, characters again. Uh, I think it's very typical typical in, in anime that after they have introduced characters, even even after they introduce the characters, even if they are even if they are the uh, major side characters they would get thrown to the sideline meaning that they have been ignored there's no more story about them I would say wait let me let me go back to my my house Alright. No one else. Uh where is it now? Uh, it's, it's it's very typical for the anime to throw to for anime characters to get thrown to the sidelines. As if they as if they have been featured in in a in a special uh, in an episode and then they just been ignored. I mean they still appeared but it's like there's no more um, character up for them or their story the development uh, character development there's more there's no more character development development now oh now that that now I have said about that now that I have talked about the uh, characters now going back to the Gintama Gintama, at the very, I, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever felt that Gintama throw away their characters. Only, but only for the, uh, but for the very very side character which, eh, that just like appeared only for one episode. Actually, it appeared for one episode. But even if the characters appear for only one episode. Intamai has done, has done a very good job at introducing them, giving them the spotlight, something like that. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, 
Uh, uh, again, again, back to the topic. Intama didn't really uh, thrown. It's not like they, they are, they are thrown. They, it's not like they have been thrown to the sidelines. It's more, it's more, it's more like their spotlight is very, um, it's very good. They have been given a very, uh, what do you call it? Deserving spotlight, which means that um, episode in that um, a chapter or episode that they appeared, their character arc is very good. Their character de development, or say something like that. Very just that they have been given a really good spotlight. That's, the chapter is about them, yeah, and that's that's how Gintama works. Is. Even if you even if you just appear for one episode or a few chapters, Gintama really give you the spotlight you deserve. Something like that. Let's get back to the previous topic. Now I'm talking about the uh, for the songs about the, the opening and ending song for Gintama. I said the um, Dust the the Spy A and Dust bands are the really I would say the most prominent that really shape up Gintama um, today. I'm not I'm not saying that what makes Gintama the best is the uh, the band the music the opening and ending. More, it's one it's like one of the reason one of the reason is it's great one of the reason Gintama is great is because of its uh, opening and ending so you know in, in Gintama I, I I say that I, I really uh, skip is is what do you call that Opening and ending. There are some opening. There are, there are some songs that I don't really li like it, like. But yeah, I really skip them. I'm going back. Ah, uh, what do you call that? Excuse, excuse, excuse me, guys. Let me pause. Sorry about it guys, I have to stop for a moment Now uh, Spy uh, Both the Spy Air and Dust Band They have met uh, They have met more They have met a lot They have met a lot of songs That is That was inserted Was included for the uh, For this Anime this there's the opening and ending there's, and there's also for the movie there's also the movie On a little bit more. Oh no. Oh, 
Talking about the uh, Gintama. Capiche, capiche. I get him back to the topic. Now, before <laughs> the first topic that I was talking about is the uh, the opening and ending for uh, for this arc. Then the opening, I said there is Togen to Alien. So for the ending, the title song is is it, it was by Spy Air. The title song is Samurai right Heart. And also there's a uh, braces which uh, in it, it says some like a heart so I hate people that when when the when you sing it you when you sing it it can be sounds you say samurai heart but at the same time you can you heard it you can hear like you can hear you can also hear another uh, lyric which is uh, some like it hot but I think it's more like to, I think it's more to the samurai heart but I don't know why they include this uh, some like it hot now guys I really rec recommend you if you guys uh, hear the song listen to the song it's very good man it really fits it really fits the theme for this arc for this particular arc because in this heart in this particular arcs it's very uh it's very heavy on the um the chains of warrior up so it's basically some it's basically some uh it's saying like uh, the the samurai heart exactly like the uh the the title said tell you guys it's a very good song what the heck he's still alive I mean, I have to fight him again? Come on, just a little bit more. Let's hit a bit more. Die, 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 die. Oh my god. What? Oh, 
Oh. Oh, finally. Oh, 30 minutes. <laughs> so much for 15 minutes. Now, let's. Um, I was talking. I was talking about the uh, Gintama ending. So you know, when there's a special arc in Gintama, they usually made. A special, I say something like special ending. No, oh, I'm saying special. It's not like they, they, uh, they, uh, what do you call that? They change the, they just abruptly change the uh, the song. But it's more like they make a, a special. You can say let's. Say, it's almost like a trailer, but more like a credit scene. Ah, yes. Every time the arc end, they will make a special ending. So it's, it's almost like a credit scene and I tell you for this for this arc is a very good uh, special ending one of the best I would say you can see and watch it ちゃんじゃねえか。いいか。こいつは俺の独り言だ。適当に聞き流せ。ガキは俺たちが何とかする。安心して狸寝入りでもお釜寝入りでも決めてろ。じゃないよ。歌舞伎町。私たちの町を頼むよ。よろずや。Ah, uh, alright. I guess I think that's uh, that's enough for this video. I really like this. I really like this uh, for this uh, part, the gameplay. For this part. Have you guys liked it? So, I see you guys in the next one. In the next one. Assalamualaikum. It's been a pleasure.